Now, moving things with a mouse is absolutely fine, but you may wish to fine tune the position of something once you've moved it, like the hair on this gentleman's head. Now, to do that, I'm going to pick up my zoom tool once more and then click over to where the region is so I can see it nice and clearly. I'll then switch back to my selection tool. Even though it's still selected, I can go to the keyboard and I can tap the cursor keys up, down, left or right to fine tune the position. So if I tap up like so, it moves. If I tap down, I can move left or right by tapping left or tap the right cursor key like so. Now that's great, but why did it move that specific amount when I tap the keys on the keyboard? Well, it's all down to preferences. So if I press Command and K on a Mac or Control K on a PC, it takes me back to preferences. And specifically, it's this value at the top up here, keyboard increment. Now that's set to, on my version in here, 0.3528 millimeters. That's the distance that something will move when you use the cursor keys on the keyboard. And there's a reason why that value is highlighted in preferences, because when this dialog box appears on screen, all that you have to do is change the value to what you need and then hit the return key and just straight back into editing again. Now I will click OK because I don't want to change that value, but that's how you can move things with more precision inside of Illustrator with the cursor keys.